Everybody, um, I am back with yet another Doctor Who video. And before anyone starts thinking his hair is really long, well, it is, and um, I'm gonna have a haircut soon. So, hopefully, by the next video, or the hopefully, the video after that. I will um, have my hair cut, uh, still have lots of videos to upload, so this will be in the long line of those videos, sadly. So basically today, um, I bought something today and I'm going to unbox it today. You probably know what that is from the title of this video. Right, so basically, I've already got this because for Christmas, you may or may not know this already, I got a Doctor Who magazine subscription. But the downside to that, the upside to that, you get the nice cover things without all the stuff on it, it's just nice. But the downside is if they release one of those deluxe edition things that they've done two of already. I've got one of those which took a lot of effort to get we ended up having to get it on ebay because we saw it in Heathrow Airport but we didn't get it then which I regret but it wasn't really my fault so yeah um and then the one before that I didn't even know existed so um I got this one today um I've read about half of the magazine from, it's very good I must say, but more into that in a bit. So I watched a video, Captain Jimmy Pye's video, I think it's, he's the only person who's done a video uh, on this, um, and he was saying, um, but I'll get it out first. Here it is, Ince Glory, Doctor Who Magazine, issue 547. Uh, deluxe edition why does it say deluxe edition right there at the top Jodie Whittaker here be monsters exclusive interview with Bradley Walsh which I've already read um, previews of four new episodes which I've also read um, competitions as usual and uh, all the exclusive stuff you get in this one so the uh, booklet about the master which has some comic stuff in, a big poster, an art card, um, three of uh, the monster trilogy big finish audios, Omega, uh, Daphros and Master, which I'm listening to Master by the way, it's really good because I've got it on CD and some big finish stickers and the CD which includes soundtracks from the episodes and stuff. Very nice, $9.99, very well worth it. The normal one, $5.99, not worth it at all, because you can get magazines about three times the thickness and they cost less money, so yeah. But anyway, this is worth it because you've got all this content in, which is awesome. So basically, what Captain Jimmy Pie was talking about is on the side, when he got home, this bit started to tear, which you can kind of see is starting to happen to mine because of all the stuff that's inside. By the way, check out his channel, very good. Um, but because of all the stuff that this cardboard has to hold, um, it needs to be bigger. And so the glue that this bit is used to stick onto here is not strong enough to hold all of the stuff inside. So it's starting to peel away 
because it's just too much. Um, so yeah, mine is starting to do that on this side, not on that side, but on this side, a tiny bit. But it wasn't like that when I bought it, it was just when I was carrying it. Um, I checked them both, they had two in there. Normally, they never have the deluxe edition, but the last one um, that we have to bought we had to buy on eBay. My, like, we phoned up a load of WH Smith. We went to my local WH Smith. They all said they didn't have it. Anyway, let's crack this open. It's very nice, and I've been dying to open it for a while. By the way, there's the back with a season 12 promotional poster thing and all of that. Gobbledygook, if you want to look. Oh, look, there's, there's an interview with Chibnall. So part two of an interview with Chibnall. I really want to get the issue before this because it has some really cool stuff in it. It's also the Christmas issue. And for the last two years, I've got the Christmas issue. So that's 2018 and 2017. And I missed out on this one. But I didn't know. It doesn't have a very Christmassy cover. So how was I supposed to know? So I've read that. I haven't yet read the master thing, which I'm looking forward to reading. Um, Meet the Team Series 12's new writers. I have read that one. That's quite interesting. Um, oh yeah, um, the their normal what's it called? Uh, fact of Fiction. They uh, did Dalek's Master Plan, which I haven't read yet, and Part Five of, of a comic. Oh, by the way, there's that lovely barcode there. It will cost you 9.99. And if you didn't know already, it's exclusive to W.A. Smith, if you can find it. Now let's crack this open. That was pretty easy. Right, let's take the first item out. What is the first item? Ah, it's the master thing. Cooler. So here it is. That's very cool looking. Past Masters classic comic strips with a very nice um, comic style drawing of the Master. It comes with the Glen of Sleeping from issues 107 to 111. Um, oh, and that isn't actually from Doctor Magazine, that's from TV Action. Um, Fogbound, which is from the Doctor Holiday Special, 1973. The Man in the Iron Mask, which is from Doctor Magazine Winter Special, 1991. And Character Assassin, that one's from Doctor Magazine, 2001. But it doesn't say what issue it was, which was a bit weird, but whatever. So, there's a cover again. On the back we've got the 11th Master slash Roger Delgado again. Oh. The rest of the things are inside here. I'll just take that out. So we need to focus on this thing. Right. There's the back, sorry. And those are the magazines that the comics are from. There we are. So let's have a quick flick through. I'll give you some of it if you can see it. Hopefully you can. If you can't, tough luck. Then we've got Fogbound, which is black and white. Also, Third Doctor. The Man in the Iron Mask. Um, Character Assassin is um, the same as the front there. As you can see, this one's in colour. Very interesting art style. I quite like the these kinds of art styles where it's quite sharp edges, almost cartoony kind of style. Um, so yeah, that's the um, past masters classic comic strips. Right, we'll now look at the poster. Um, okay, we'll just put that stuff down here. Right, 
here's the poster it's double sided as usual apparently it's supposed to be very big it does look pretty big oh my gosh okay move the back of it hopefully you can see the whole thing and you can hear me from back here whoa that's cooler don't you think there and then the other side there you are that is a very cool poster i have to say okay and now we'll look at the other things here's the art card which is a4 quite nice it's of the series 12 promotional poster which is very cool and then it's got this on the back printed on a nice glossy or well, matte paper sorry that's very cool we then have some big finish stickers very cool yeah some very interesting stickers there very nice yep those are the big finish stickers it's a very odd piece of merchandise i mean who'd have thought that big finish would um do stickers very strange but yeah here is the cd very nice the music collection doc two magazine that's the front and the back it includes doc two um theme space adventure part two um which was first used in the tenth planet universe sidereal used in two of the sidemen the ice warriors um i guess that's just the Ice Warriors theme, maybe the main music that's used in the Ice Warriors, the Space Time Music Part Two, used in the Web of Fear, Mr. Oak and Mr. Quill uh, from Fury from the Deep, the Croton theme from Guess What? The Crotons, the Seeds of Death, Blue Veils and Golden Sands, used in Inferno, the Masters theme from The Mind of Evil, Carnival of Monsters. Planet of the Spiders, The Android Invasion, Antarctica, The First Pod from the Seeds of Doom, The Sun Makers, Inter Argolis from The Leisure Hive, The Sonic Booster from The Visitation, March of the Cybermen from Earthshock, which I've started watching, pretty good, The Mark of the Rani, Remembrance of the Daleks, Ghost Light, and, and somewhere else the tea's getting cold from survival that's very cool let's have a look at the disc it's a compact disc cd if you didn't know that which i'd be surprised if you didn't but i'm sure there are some people who didn't know cd stands for compact disc there's a disc um not very interesting art but it's nice so yeah so overall um it's pretty good i must say pretty good indeed plus it does include those uh three big finish audios so yeah that is pretty cool um but we have not finished because there's still the magazine obviously how could i forget is that everything yes it is so here is the magazine so it's slightly different to my one and obviously in better condition than mine uh very nice here's the back front just some random pages i'll show you
there we are it's a very nice magazine it's very good i have to say um yeah that bradley walsh interview is pretty good um what else the uh, oh yeah the this one about the doctor Who comedy show thing um article was very interesting i have to say um and also about the writers talking about their first experience on writing Doctor Who. Right, well we can just pretend that I put everything back in, which I didn't pretend because I totally did. So thank you for watching everyone. Uh, please like and subscribe if you feel the urge to, which I hope you do. Um, um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Thanks for watching, and tschüss!